Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you my new and improved workspace setup. I have made small improvements, investments and changes every now and then and now I'm finally ready to show you my finalized setup. I'll go over all of my essential equipment that I use for work, whether it being freelance illustration or YouTube. And I'll try to link as many of them as possible in the description below as well so that you can go treat yourself if you feel inspired. I would also like to quickly give a shout out to Grovemade who has provided me with some key components to my new setup. But I'll come back to that in just one second. First, I'd like to show you some before footage. I recorded these clips on the day I started cleaning and rearranging my current setup. As you can see, my space had become quite messy and I simply can't function well unless my area is somewhat neat and clean and organized especially. I had previously built my setup around a very bright and white environment, which is actually pretty unlike me, but since I have such a small space, I was afraid of putting too many dark elements in there, which might make my little corner all that more smaller in perception. But I finally allowed myself to start building my dream workspace, inspired by nature and magic, as well as science fiction and outer space. I wanted to mix some wood and leaves with steel and colored lights. I basically wanted my workspace to become some sort of enchanted fantasy forest set in a sci-fi setting. I just personally really love the combination of nature and technology, so I'd like to call my aesthetic Neon Nature or something along that line. If you have a better name, I'm all ears, seriously, <laughs> Neon Nature? <laughs> I mean, give it your best shot, guys. I want to start off by going over my table setup and then afterwards I'll move on to the surrounding area. The centerpiece of my setup is my new table shelf system from Grovemade. It's one of the few new additions that I got specifically for this setup. I actually saw this product in another workspace tour and I went to check out this shelving system. Luck would have it that within that same week they contacted me and offered to sponsor some products for me. Can you imagine how freaking happy I was? One of the reasons I wanted this full length shelving system was that I really wanted some more stowaway areas at my table because there are always a few items that I carry back and forth to my workspace such as my iPad and my laptop. And I also like to be able to tuck stuff away when I don't use it. Before, I also had nowhere to store my Wacom Cintiq at the same time as stowing away my keyboard since they were sharing and competing for the same space on my table. Now I can enjoy a drawing session and neatly tuck away my Wacom underneath the desk shelf when I'm done so it doesn't have to take up space on my table when I'm not using it. And sliding my items back and forth from under this shelf system is super satisfying and smooth with the addition of the new desk pad that I also got from Grovemade. I chose the dark grey extra large wool desktop because I thought it would be perfect for the aesthetic I was going for and it looks amazing with the shelf system on top. The desk shelf itself is made from walnut plywood and has an inbuilt section shelf... inbuilt section shelf... inbuilt section shelf... That's so hard to say. It's my third time. <laughs> Has an inbuilt sectioned shelf made from aluminium. There we go. <laughs> I also got this cute little walnut planter, but until I find a perfect plant for it, I have this little fellow living in it. I'm actually so happy with my items from Grovemade that I decided to become an affiliate partner with them. So if you're considering getting some of the items for yourself, because they have so much more than the items I just showed you, you can get 10% off your order if you use the promo code NettyAxel10, or you can use the link in the top of this video's description. Now on the top of my shelf I have my monitor. If you watched my previous workspace tour you'll notice that I'm actually one monitor short this time. My current monitor is the MSI Creator PS321QR. And if you'd like to know more about this monitor i link to the video containing the unboxing in the top corner and in the description. It's a 32 inch 4K monitor with a USB hub which is essential for my setup because I use a lot of USB ports. 
Below my monitor, I have what I consider a little tech setup. <laughs> I have the small stream deck from Elgato, which allows me to easily use custom set shortcuts as I am working. Then I have the controls for my Altec speakers and my Steel Series wireless Arctic 7 headphones. Next to my monitor, I have my good old Snowball Ice microphone from Blue. I bought this one as one of my first equipment upgrades after starting my YouTube journey way back in 2015. I think this microphone is four or five years old now and I still love it. It's a bit big though, so I might be updating it sooner rather than later. Out here next to the table shelving system, I have a ring light tucked away. It's from a brand that I actually don't know, it's called Kingjoy, and I found it super randomly in a photo store one day when I was visiting a mall. It's powered by USB, you can control the three levels of white to yellow light and brightness as well. I use it whenever I have to record my face instead of setting up my big ass studio lights, which I had to use today, because damn guys, Denmark gets incredibly dark when it's overcast in November. It's basically like nighttime here already, and I'm recording this at noon. <laughs> My current keyboard is the NOS C450. I just fell in love with the ombre effect on the keys and I like that it's much smaller compared to my previous full featured keyboards. With the keyboard I use a cushion for my wrists so I don't strain them when timing for long durations or when I'm gaming. The cushion is from Razer and it's a small sized one. My mouse pad and mouse are both from SteelSeries. The mouse pad is the QCK prism cloth in medium and the mouse is a Rival 5. All of my equipment here is USB powered and the SteelSeries Gears Lightning can be controlled and synced with SteelSeries software so that all of my colors are in sync. To record my videos I use the Sony CV1 vlogging camera. I got it earlier this year because my old webcam just didn't cut it in terms of quality anymore. I used to use this Logitech Brio 4K webcam to record with previously. The Sony CV1 has a flippable screen, can record in 4K, do slow motion, product showcase as well as defocusing the background. It does a lot more than that though and I'm very happy with it. I got a big 256GB SD card for it as well as an extra battery and I can use a regular phone charger with the camera so it doesn't run out of power while I record for longer sessions. When I'm recording art from this camera I'm attaching it to my Elgato multi-mount system. My system consists of the master mount in large and the flex arm in large as well. I also sometimes just use a regular tripod if I need to get those crispy angles. <laughs> My drawing equipment currently consists of a Wacom Cintiq 16 Pro that I use most of the time here at my desk. I also got myself a Wacom Cintiq stand so that I can adjust the angles of the tablet more than just the default feed position. My dream is to one day be able to have a 24 inch Wacom Cintiq Pro with touch somewhere at my workspace along with a flex arm or something, but I'm very happy with my 16 inch too and I don't think I can ever go back to a drawing tablet without touch. The other half of my drawing equipment is my iPad. This is the 2021 Pro model with a 128GB storage, it's the 12.9 inch model by the way. I use paper-like screen protector with it along with the Apple Pencil 2. I also have these little rubber tips called pen tips 2 that I sometimes use for extra drawing resistance. I also have this very powerful little laptop that I can use when I work remote for a longer period of time. It's the MSI Prestige 14 and if you want to have a detailed look at it, I have put a link to the video including this laptop's unboxing in the top corner now and I'll put a link in the description as well. Alright, that covers the main area of my workspace. Let me show you some of the surrounding areas. Just to the right of my monitor, I have a little Eckhart shelf from IKEA, containing some of the books that I like to look at frequently. I have all three of the art books by Loish, I have Sketch with Aisha, The Art of Panilla Urum, some old how to draw manga books that have followed me for years, as well as the comics that I'm currently reading. 
On top of my Aka shelf, you'll find Dew, the only plushie prototype that ever existed, as well as my WIT e reading lamp from BenQ. That's hard to say. <laughs> I seriously love this lamp. Not only is it flexible, but it also also detects the lighting circumstances in your room and adapts its own illumination to your surroundings when you turn it on. You can also manually control its brightness and color from white to yellow. By my window, I have kept my old monitor stand. Inside, I keep all my sticky notes. Below my window, there's a Rohrskog trolley from IKEA. I've definitely not utilized its space to its fullest yet, but right now it just holds some traditional art tools, some extra tech gears, as well as, well, a pink rubber chicken. <coughs> Next to it, there is a little shelf holding my old sketchbooks, some Copic markers, as well as a light table. Above it, I have installed this Scottish shelf system from IKEA to store some additional stuff. I should probably optimize this space as well, but for now, well, it just works. Behind me, you'll find this wide Alex shelf system from, you guessed it, IKEA. <laughs> if you want to see how I have organized my stuff inside Alex, <laughs> please go and see my previous workspace tour because nothing has changed inside since then. The link is up here in the top corner of the video and I'll also link in the description below. On top of Alex is my Epson Surecolor P400 printer. I used to print my own stuff for conventions, but today I just use it to create special prints, stickers or regular office stuff. On the wall above my desk setup, I have some artwork that I love and that I think fits perfectly with my theme. I'll credit all the artists as I show the art so you can check them out for yourself. I still have a landscape poster that I want to hang up, but I'm still not sure where to put it. All I know is that I absolutely love it and I need to get it up somewhere. The last thing worth mentioning is probably my chair. It's an ergonomical chair from a brand called Melmstolen. It's a pretty expensive chair. I think it cost approximately $1,350. But luckily I didn't have to purchase it for myself. It was given to me as an assistive equipment because last year I was diagnosed with inflammatory or rheumatoid arthritis in my spine. So I need a proper chair to avoid further the back issues and this chair is just super comfy i love it and it has made my everyday a lot easier and now i think it's time to show how my workspace looks during night time this is when the magic really shows the pink light comes from a simple clip-on lamp from lumery basically any pink or colored lamp will do here I just love this magical feeling of the little light sources surrounding me in this neon setting. And the very latest addition to this room is the LED strip installed at the back of my table. I can spend all day, all night in this corner and I hope that someday I can have an entire room for my workspace so I can really go crazy decorating the shit out of it, okay? <laughs> and I think that's the essence of it. Welcome to my new white space! Yay! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching. I put all the links to my equipment in the description below as well as the videos I've been referring to throughout this video. And remember that you can get 10% off an order on Grovemade if you use the code NATTYAXO10. It is an affiliate code so you'll also be supporting my work if you decide to use it. And there is of course also a link in the description to the offer as well. Remember to hit the like button to support my channel and subscribe if you haven't already for more art related videos and tutorials in the future. And guys, remember, hit the ding dong so you can join the notification squad and get notified when I upload my next video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more, go ahead and watch this video on the screen right now. Until next time, take care guys. Bye!